going on everybody? Buzz guys here to you today and today is gonna be another tutorial video. I mean I haven't done one in a while and I'm sure a lot of you out there I know there's tons of tutorials out there already on this But I want to do it part of my tutorial series because people might not cover everything So we're gonna go ahead and do that in today's video. We're gonna be creating a skin template for GTA 4 GTA 4 and GTA 5 are kind of the same thing But I'll do a totally different video on a GTA 5 template because it is a little bit different But they basically are the same so let's start off with the GTA 4. So today we're going to be creating the Massachusetts Transit Police. You see there's a lot in Boston, Massachusetts, and there's no skins out there for this. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do today. So I'm using two programs today. I'm using PaintNet, and I'm using Photoshop. Photoshop, you could buy. Uh, I think you have to pay it monthly. Um, if you really wanted to, you can get a cracked version. Um, but, yeah. So I'm using two programs. We're going to use Photoshop for the text, and we're going to use paint net for the designs and everything because you see that design there we want to make sure that's all said and done but we're going to be doing all the design into in here and then we're going to export this and put it into photoshop and do the rest in there so let's go ahead and start off we need our base color so you're going to go over over here to the paint bucket uh you're going to add a new layer so see this is our background we don't want to do anything with this don't touch this add a new layer and as you see here, there's nothing there, so no color. So whatever color you want the base vehicle to be, black, white, blue, pink, red, whatever you want, go ahead and pick that. So we're going to go with a base background of white. See how that does there. Now, people are probably going to freak out and say, where did that my template just go? How am I supposed to create my skin? So you're going to go over here to properties. Once you go to properties, you're going to go ahead and lower this layer of opacity. And look at that. You have it back. So now our base vehicle is going to be white. Now we need to get our other vehicles to start... Um, not other vehicles, other colors, excuse me, I'm going a little bit too fast here. Slow it down. So we're going to go over to our image that we have. Make sure, uh, one thing I should have said before you started this, make sure you have real life photos of the vehicle that you're creating. Make sure you have everything set out and done. Because you don't want to be guessing how it looks. You want the actual image. So this is our actual image here. So we're going to go ahead and get this color blue, which that looks a little bit too dark there. You need a lighter blue. Maybe we can grab it off of this image, yeah. That, that's the blue right there. That's what we want, we want. So once we have that blue, we need to create this kind of straight thing here. See how it cuts off there? That's how we want it. So we're going to go ahead and hit Z. And then we're going to hold and hold, um left mouse button. And we're going to go ahead and zoom in on our image here. So that zooms us in there. And now we're going to go ahead and start making design. So the easiest way to make a design in Paint Night is to go over to the shape over here. You see this? Shapes. And then you're going to go up here and hit rectangle or you can do whatever you want. There's all these shapes you can do with. Uh, if you want to create a heart, you can do a heart. We don't want that though. Oh, before you even do a design though, you want to make sure you do another layer. Hit add new layer. And you'll see why we're going to do that in a second. I'm going to show you. But we don't want a heart. So we're going to go with a rectangle here. And we're going to go with that. You want draw, sh draw fill shape. That's what you want. Because see, now it's going to give us that kind of look. And that's what we're going for. So, you notice how it kind of, how the, how it cuts off here. See that? It's that sharp cut off there. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do first. We're going to go ahead and grab the line curve. And we're actually going to go ahead and cut it off like right here. Around the wheel, so let's take a better look. Yeah, so that's how it goes. So we want kind of go like that and give it a sh that sharp edge. I'm not too quite sure how that's gonna look. Let's try that. Actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do the thing first, and then we'll add that. I didn't do that. I don't know why I just deleted that. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. So we're gonna go ahead and just click here and make it how big we want it to be. And then resize it. We want it to come down to about here. We want to make sure it's kind of big, cause see how see how lengthy that is. So we want we want it to be like that, and it's right under the door handles too. So it's right under. So it's about right there, I would say. And it's like that, I'm assuming. So I'm gonna go get that right to the end there. And then we're going to go ahead and go back to our line. And we're going to make our 
code, something like that. I'm gonna actually zoom in on this. And like that, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's some it's similar. Let's go ahead and go back to this one. Make it out to here like that. And then we're gonna go here like that. That's kind of what we're looking for. And then we can just go ahead and fill that in. And that's what we're looking for right there. That is perfect. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing as we did here on this side. Because we obviously want it to be the t totally same on both sides. See how it is on this side. And then on this side. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we just did over there. Um, actually, th uh, there's an easy way you can do it. You can just do it that way. Or you can go ahead and grab the rectangle select tool here. And then you're going to go ahead and just select, um, make sure you get it right, because you don't want to grab anything else. Select the whole, like, the rectangle you just did. Sorry, I can't speak today. Um, you don't have to select the whole thing. You can, but you can just go ahead and select that, and you're going to go up here, hit copy. And then you're going to go down over here to this side, hit paste. Boom. We have the same exact same exact shape as the last one and then we're just going to go ahead and stretch it here and we want to shift it down a little bit again because of the fact that so we're going to go a little bit more there so we're just going to go ahead and hit backspace undo i should say and go right there and that should be even yep that's about even right there so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we did with the opposite side. Because like I said, you want it to be all the same. So we're going to go ahead and start here. Right about there. Just kind of bring this in a little bit. And then go here. Sharpen that up. And we have the same exact idea. So we have the same exact idea, so boom, there's our design. So now we gotta do the bottom half here, this red, I mean, not red, why did I say red? Uh, blue and, it looks like kind of a light gray from these pictures. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. So I've only done this once before, so I'm not sure how it's gonna come out, but we're gonna go ahead and hit a new, we're gonna get a whole new thing here to do it. Oh, that's too small. No. We're just going to go with 800 by 800. Perfect. Okay. So, we're going to leave that color blue. And we're going to switch this over to, I think it was like a light gray from the photos. That's what it looked like to me. So, we're going to go ahead and make these like that. And then you're going to go ahead and switch colors. And it's going to be, I want to make it kind of the same width, like that. And then you're going to go ahead and do the same thing again. You could actually go like this. So once you do two, you can copy this, paste it. And we'll kind of get in that rhythm that we want with the bottom. There we go, like that. So see, it goes all the way across here. So we kind of need to make this big. So once we have that much, we can go ahead and do this. Copy, paste. Honestly, I think these grays are a little bit more darkened. Or lighter, I should say. So let's go ahead and try to find... Oh, that's not what we wanted. We lost our blue. But that's good, we have it right here. There we go, primary. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch this primary color to a white. And let's see how the white looks. No, I, you know what? I think, I'm pretty sure that's gray. I mean, that looks gray to me. It looks like a lighter shade of gray. So what if we go to the gray here? And we just kind of lighten that up. Let's try that. That didn't lighten anything up, did it? More. Like that gray. Let's try that gray. 
Ah, that's not what we're looking for. Okay. That's black. It, you gotta mess around and you gotta find the right shade that the color is. What if we turn that all the way down? Try that. There we go, that's what we wanted. So once we find that, just go ahead and redo that. So once we have that, we can go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and copy this. Go over to our template. And we're gonna paste it right on here, right at the bottom. Just like that. So, if you've noticed, it doesn't go all the way to the end but it does go to the end on that side. So it goes to about right there, but doesn't fully go to the end there. So I'd say probably like, right there we'll call it good. And we kind of have that bottom look. You notice that they are kind of crooked. So if you really wanted to, I just did that for the sake of the video. You could go back to the sh shape over here, go to parallelogram, and actually make them the correct. We need our colors back up. I don't know why. Paint bucket. Uh, we need our colors back up. How do I... I forget how you do it, because I haven't... Alright, well, anyways, that's... That's pretty good right there, I would say. So we're just gonna go ahead and paste the same thing here. Get it up over here, fit it onto our template. Just like that. I'd say, like, right there is good. All right, so now that we have that down, we have that, we have that, we need this in the front, and we need that in the back. So let's go ahead and do that. So the back is going to be right here. So we're actually just going to paste the same thing, and where do they have it on the explorers? It's right there at the bottom. So yeah, so it's actually right here. So we're just going to go ahead and do this. I want to shrink it down to make it, well, not so much shrink it down, but we don't want to lose the width of the colors. Well, you can shrink it down. There you go, like that. Copy, paste. And then you're just going to bring it over here to this side. Make sure it matches up. Stretch this down to there. And stretch this there. And there you go. So we have that on that part. So now we need to find the front bumper. And I believe that is this. Not even the front bumper though. Is it on the bumper? It's like... No, it's like right above the grill. So... We might be able to do it on here to get that kind of bluish. No, because that would be up here. We want it down there. So we do want it. We do want to do it on here. We'll do it on this one. If I'm correct, that is the front. So we actually do need our colors back up. So we're back. Um, I f figured out it was. I f totally forgot how to do it. So we were working on getting the front bumper here. So we're gonna go ahead and. Get this, and we're gonna go ahead and see. The thing is, if there's a ram bar on here, I don't know if it's gonna. So if we have to, we'll make an adjustment. Uh, we'll make an adjustment later. Kind of want to thicken up the brush size too. Let's try twelve. Uh, twelve is a bit much. About thirteen. Thirteen's. Let's try nine. Oh uh, yeah, that will that will work for us. So 
So you see how they got that going there? So that's good right there. Alright, so after that, I think we are done in paint net. Alright, so we're done in paint net. So after you're done in paint net, you want to go ahead and hit file, save as PNG. And we're just going to go ahead and keep underscore transit police. So, because I want to keep the original template, just in case I need to do anything. Oh, uh, cancel that out. What you want to do is go back to your second layer, and then go all the way to like that. And what you want to do is hit File, Save as, PNG, Save, Yes, OK, Flatten. Okay, so now you're done with Paint Net, you can close that out, and now we're going to head over to Photoshop. So when we're in Photoshop, we're going to go ahead and drag our template in here, just like that. Oh, actually, I did that wrong. Can't, don't, don't do that. That was stupid. Don't do that. That's not what you want to do. We need to do our original template in here. Okay, transfer please. We need this original template. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and drag this into here, hit copy, and then drag the one you created from PaintNet, which is right here in our folder, and put it right over this one. And then you see here, opacity, you're gonna do the same exact thing as we did, which we want that a little bit more. Right there should be good. And that's what we want. Alright, so now once we're in here, actually, we need to do the badge too. So you're going to drag whatever icons or anything you have, we're going to go ahead and drag this into here. And we're going to work on this first, and then we'll do the text. So, what you want to do is grab, unlock that. I think we do Shift T, or Control T, there we go. And that does that. So that's what we want right there. And then we want to grab our clip tool, or magic wand tool, I should say. And hit control. And we're going to just go ahead and hit control or delete. Yeah. Delete. 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 So we clipped all that off. So now we want to go ahead and grab this and move it onto our template here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and zoom in. As we just did. And we're going to move up. And we're going to move over. And put it here. But we want it. And then here we're going to go ahead and hit control T. And we're going to resize it down to where we want it to be and right about there is good. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Close all that out. This is what we wanted. So where's our picture here? Right here. Here's our picture. So see how it's right on there? It's perfect right there. So and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. We're gonna hit control C which copies it and we're gonna hit control V. Actually we have to paste it first. And control C, control V. And that does that. Now move down and place it in the same position as you did as the bottom one. And that gives us the same exact look. Alright, so now we're gonna do the text. Text is a big part of um the car. So what you want to do is grab your text tool here. And you're gonna go ahead and get the make sure you're on the right thing first. And we're gonna type in Transit police. Move it down onto the blue. And yeah. It's kind of closer to the badge. Sort of like that. Um did I, sp I spelled that right. Yeah, I did. Transit police. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and select this 
text. And we're going to kind of find what matches. How does that look? Nope. Kind of need it. Transit police. That actually might look close. No, that doesn't. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, no, we need to make it. You just gotta go through and find the right text. So I will be back once I do so. So I can see the T. to the R's. Alright guys, so what's up? What's up? Um, we're back. I found the right text. It looks similar. Looks a lot similar to what we're looking for. Um, the only thing is that you do need to change. We do need to change the color. Like I said, it's that white gray color. Yeah, like with that right there. So we got that. Now we gotta get the phone number. Uh, we'll work on that after. So what we're actually gonna go ahead and do is call that that, and we're gonna go ahead and hit Control C, Control V, and place the same thing here. Nope. We're gonna delete that layer. Yes. And move this here. Transit police, like that. Actually, you need to get one of the. I still have it open in here. Yeah, so the police, yeah, so we're doing it, right? So exactly like that. Now we got that. Now we need to get the phone number. So to use the phone number, we're going to go back to our text tool here. We're going to go back up here. And then we're going to go ahead and type in our numbers. It's like 617... We need regular text though. So just do the same thing you've been doing, find the right text. Like that seems to be, yeah, that's good. 
1212. So there you go. So now you got that. So we're going to just resize it because you don't want it to be that. It's not that big on the real car. Want it to be. Try that. Nope. It's too small. 16. Uh, we can go probably 24. Yeah, we can go 24. Like that. And that works out like that. I don't know why this layer 3 is there, we can delete that. And then we're going to hit Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V, copy that layer, go down here, go here, move it to the end, just like that. And now what else do we need? We need Committed to Excellence, and Transit Police in the back, and then we are complete with our car. Well, I just noticed there's a number on top here, we'll have to add that in after, but... So committed to excellence. So where's our back? Oh no, it actually goes right here. So we're gonna go back to our text tool here. And just type it in. With the red color, because it's a red. Committed to excellence, I believe it is. Yeah. Excellence. Okay. Excellence. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and shrink it down. And we need to actually if I'm correct, it's the same text as the um that. So we need and then we're gonna go ahead and shrink it down here to right there it down to there click somewhere else and boom there, there it is so you can see how close that looks to that and that's what we're aiming for we need the number 70342 but let's go ahead and do the same thing we've been doing delete this layer 3 here commit it to excellence control C control V and then you're gonna go ahead and move it up to where we want it onto this cop car or this side I should say because it's all the same cop car move it to here that's what we want and the numbers go like right there so what we're gonna do get a new texting here and are they in blue yes they are in blue so we need that blue color right here so if we go to our color picker we can get that blue just like that and 7034 we need that blue shade eh, yeah right there's good 7034 and we're gonna go ahead and change the um lettering to this one did I say lettering? I meant numbering. And we have the American flag too, which we'll need to grab a picture of to put onto the car. So, once you're done with that, Control C, Control V. Go ahead and move this down. And put it onto here. Right about there is good. Okay. So now we're gonna go, go go on here and go ahead and type in US flag. So once you type in US flag, go to images and just find one that looks good to you. This one looks good to me right here. Nice and bright. Hit save image, save. Okay. Now you're gonna go into Photoshop, uh go to your downloads, and you're gonna find your mega flag. Here's mine. Perfect, just like this. And we're gonna crop out all the other stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, actually, you know what? That might not work. So what we could do is actually, we're gonna hit this, Control T, Shift T, and we're just gonna shrink it down a ton, just like that. 
and we're gonna go ahead and go to here. Actually, you gotta wait to do that. Apply transformation. Okay, go over to here and put it on here. Next, Control T, shrink it down. And it's gonna go right there, right under the 7034. Apply. Perfect. Now you're gonna hit Control C, Control V. And we're gonna go right back up here. And we're gonna go ahead and move it right under the 7034. And boom. Now we have mostly of what we need. So, the back is the last part to this tutorial, guys. And the plate, we're going to put two. So, stay tuned for that. Um, so, let's go ahead and do... We need to look at the back here. I think we had a photo right here. There's transit, police, and it's right over the Ford sign. So, it's right here. So, we're going to go ahead and hit here. Type in transit. Uh, actually, that's not what we wanted. We wanted this. Uh, we're just going to move it over here so we can see. And I believe we've been using this one, so it's the same text. Like that. Shrink it up. So you're just basically going to do the same thing over you've been doing. Um, just making it on the different part of the vehicle. Transit. Perfect right there. Police and boom. Now the only part left of our texture that we need is the license plate. Now they have a different license plate from everybody else. As you see, it goes Massachusetts. It has three seven and it has their badge. So I unfortunately do not have a picture of that, so we're just going to use one of these for now. For just temporary until I can get around to making one. We could actually use this, so it's a little bit different, but... Again, you see nothing pops up here for transit police plate. So, instead, I'm just going to go ahead and be a little bit creative here. Grab this. Uh... Go back to normal layer. And we're going to go over to here and put the plate on here. We're going to hit Control T, shrink it down to right there. And that's perfect right there, guys. So, and then you're just going to go ahead and do the same thing we've been doing Control C, Control V, and move it down to this plate right here. And that is your texture and it should be done let's go ahead and zoom out and over so now that your texture is done what we're gonna go ahead and do is go down to this opacity right here and boom look at that there is our final texture guys that is done I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the vehicle and show you guys so we're gonna go ahead and go here File, save as, go down to PNG, and final. You can name it whatever you want, I'm just naming it that. Save, okay, and boom, that's done. Alright, so now to put the texture into OpenIV, what you want to do, open OpenIV, open Grand Theft Auto 4. I almost did five. Go to edit mode. Yes. Go to PC, models, CD images, vehicles images. And go down to whatever you have it under. For me, I have it under P Stockade, which is right here. This is what we're putting it on because this is basically the same exact thing. So, I already did a Boston Police Patrol in. GTA 4 so I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the texture if you want multiple textures I will do a video on that showing you how you can do that but for now this is what we're gonna be doing so see how this oh you can you can put multiple so you know what we're gonna go ahead 
we're gonna go ahead and hit um we're actually gonna export this out here just so we have it for future reference it should be there somewhere it should be there so now i'm gonna hit replace go over to where you have it which is mine under transit police and final right here now we're gonna hit save and now that is officially on your vehicle and you can use it whenever you want to in game so let's go back up to peace stockade and there it is that is the Massachusetts Transit Police which is it actually looks very similar we're gonna go ahead and pull up a side-by-side -side picture here Transit Police Go ahead and actually, you know what? Let's save this image. This will be easier. Do that. Downloads. Right here. Get that out of there. That there. That there. Shrink this down. Right there. And that is the final texture, guys. So, that's going to be it for today's tutorial. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope it guys helps you out a lot. If it did, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, Mods Guy 202, out.